Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through uh, some of the improvements that I have made to GAC Explorer app. Um, as you probably know, uh, this is an open source app. You can uh, access the code base here uh, on GitHub. Um, there are some improvements, uh, which is mostly like UI and stuff, but there is one where you will be able to optimize the title and description with the help of AI, which is gonna be the important one. So I'm gonna walk you through that today. Uh, you will have one prerequisite of using that, which will be the open AI key, which I'll kind of uh, walk you through. But uh, on the home page, you would see something like this. Uh, if you are having issue uh, clicking here, if you have previously used this app, you might see some error there. So feel free to click here and things will be all right. So let's go into this, dive into dashboard. Um, if let's say you have not um, used before, then you would see a screen like this. You would have to authenticate your GSE and once it's here, uh, it will ask you to select the GSE property. In this case, I'm gonna use this. And here, um, uh, it will ask you to mention the brand key, brand terms, and it works as contained. So I'm gonna mention Trident and PBI, and then I, I can say next to the dashboard. Now, by default, you will see three different reports and two different charts. Um, I'll come to all of that later uh, if you don't know but the main thing that I want to talk today is uh, site white pages and I'm gonna re remove this delete API key so that this is the experience that you will see uh, it will ask you to enter your open AI key uh, as you we will uh, go into this so if you want to optimize your title and description uh, of course that happens at the page level so first you would go here and you would fetch data for all of your pages, I'm gonna do last 30 days. So now here are all the pages with their respective numbers. Um, by default, I pull in the numbers for the current period. The current period will be here. Um, even though you select, let's say, some other dates, it will still pull in data for certain dates, which will be mentioned here uh, for your information. Um, and then it will do some basic calculation of uh, what the clicks is period over period. Uh, and then what those clicks are preview, uh, year over year. Um, I find it easier to have this calculation so that it's easier for me to report and understand. Uh, feel free to use it the way you like. Now, after this, um, there is a button here which says uh, CTR. So if you click on that, you will see this sort of page. Uh, and if you hit fetch data, it will give you some analysis of your existing title and description. What you could also do is instead of just relying on last 30 days, you could pull in more data to, to make it more informative. Uh, the, be the more the data that OpenAI has, uh, the better your title and description suggestion will be. So now I have got maybe last five months of data. And what I'm looking here is, first of all, it says here is my existing title. And then here is my existing description. Because the page do not have a description, um, it says the no description found. Now, the business is uh, the manufacturer cardboard uh, boxes and cartons and whatnot, but a part of that they also do uh, coffee cup sleeves manufacturing. And this is the page is about, right? Uh, now here, what it is telling us, this analysis is the, what it does is it looks into your existing Google search queries that is having impressions in top line position. So. First of all, it doesn't take all the search queries and metrics. It just looks at the queries and the data and the metrics day to day. And then it says, let's only consider the search queries, which is having impression in top 10 position. And then it aggregates for the period uh, uh, that, that you have data for. And after that, it tokenizes all of this query and it creates these tokens. And then this it matches these tokens with your existing titles. So here you can see, for example, that users are using paper in their search queries. So the, some of these sample search queries are coffee cup paper sleeves. 
paper cup sleeves paper cups with sleeves all of that um, but we are not using let's say paper in the title and description now you can just use this data and write your own title and description or you could click here now when you will click here it will say please add and save your open ai in left sidebar um, i have this key with me so i'm going to copy paste it here you can generate your own key from open ai and, and and save it here so once it's saved and then you will hit uh, generate it will generate uh, a new title and description for you so you can do the same with the description and this in theory is a better title and description because it also try to include all other um, words which is not currently so for example you can see paper in here you can see custom in here um, uh, you can see uh, let's say printing is, is, a, is an intent what you can also do is let's say if you don't think that this is good enough you can generate one more and you can generate unlimited uh, once you feel that this is what you want to go with now this is about the title and description right um, I also plan to do something like this uh, for for page and I'll show you something that I got um, but it's not public yet which is uh, I think it has page content or something like that let me see what it is uh, it's it's not open but you can still access it because I have the the routes available but the way this work is yeah optimize page content so I got something like this it says optimize page content question mark page is equal to this and this will basically fetch all of your content and it would still generate the same uh, tokens and it would match these tokens with your content. Uh, it's not fully ready yet, but I, I still just wanted to share with you that uh, something like this is also coming. Um, other than that, there was one um, error or the comment that I have seen. Uh, so part like what you can also do is you can just click share feedback here and all your feedback will be saved here. Um, and one of the challenge was that if you request larger data uh, then it was timing out at 30 seconds which I have solved for it now uh, it will last for three minutes so you will technically have uh, have more data uh, to analyze and see the reports in so I think that's all uh, for me um, for for the site wide pages uh, there are other reports uh, for example I have organic search CTR curve um, here, let's say you can select the country and uh, uh, your dates as usual, and it will plot uh, your CTR charts. Uh, and then this CT sorry, this CTR chart will be based on the uh, the segmentation that you have done for brand and non-brand. So, for example, here you can see that for brand queries, on the first position the CTR is 47, while on non-brand the CTRs are are a little bit lower. Um, other than that, here is on here another report uh, which does brand and non-brand. Um, you will have some analysis available. Uh, what is also cool, and this is a slight update, is that now I have uh, uh, formatted this a little better. Uh, now you can see what your performance is uh, in a color coded way. So I think that's all. Uh, let me know. Uh, feel free to use it and let me know how you like it. I think one more thing that's worthy of sharing is that how this title and descriptions are being generated. Um, so what you're looking at is a kind of a function here uh, that receives the data from app and it receives your existing title, the page, uh, the tokens, the H1, and then open AI key which you have saved here um, so it, it is it is saved locally on your browser I don't see that uh, of course the API key come to our server to generate that but uh, I don't have uh, a tracking available for that so what it does is here is the system prompt you can read here and see how in this workflow 
uh, I'm utilizing all of that data to generate the title. So here basically it says, hey, you are a experienced writer and uh, here is the recommendation when you would write the title for it and I'm passing on some data of, of our existing page and then I'm passing on the terms and the used query and non-used query and top five search queries and all of that. And I'm saying that, okay, now I have given you this, this context and then this task with all this data, please generate the, the title for me. And here it generates the title. And once it's generated, um, I, I bring it here and, and, and show it to you. Uh, if let's say you want to host this project yourself, you could also change this and, um, format it in a way that you like. Uh, let's say if you're an e-commerce company um, or your client is e-commerce, uh, then you can modify it more uh, to be, I don't know, collection page titles or um, the product titles and whatnot. But here I have just done this basic work. Um, if let's say I want to improve the result, then what I just need to do is come here and improve the prompt. And, uh, and again, theoretically, I would see the better titles and description here. And you can do this for as many pages as you want. There is no, there is no limit in it uh, because it's your own data. It's your own API key. Uh, I have just provided you the, the app um, and feel free to use it. So that's all from me. Uh, feel free to share the feedback. Um, and I also plan to share some responses in the feedback for the things that have already been fixed. Um, and I will look forward to what you have to say. Thanks folks.